More experiments with the crystal oscillator module transmitter on two meters. This time connected to a mobile phone for audio. If you're walking along the street and see a mobile phone earpiece, make sure you pick it up, even if it's only half there. That's because the four pin plug may be useful for radio projects and it's easier soldering to a plug already with a lead than to just the plug itself. You have to be careful because the wires are very thin, but you can separate them and connect them to other things. You need to separate the wires, noting that insulation is not particularly obvious, and scrape off the ends with a hobby knife or similar. Then you can connect it to other things. Test transmission from VK3YE. We'll test the cable with a crystal oscillator transmitter described in the last video. One earphone has been removed and wired across the oscillator's 15 ohm resistor. ID audio is put on a continuous loop, put on a mobile phone app. 1234, 1234, VK3YE testing. As you can hear, audio is surprisingly good. I first of all tried to see if you could tap power from the mobile phone. That proved unsuccessful. So instead, I'm using a USB power pack. This particular pack does have a problem that it requires a minimum amount of power to be drawn, otherwise, as you just saw there, it shuts off. You can overcome that by building an artificial load or by buying a kit, such as is available from Soda Beams.